What's up everybody and another day, another Ryzen video. Um, and what's it smell? It smells like uh, victory for the Ryzen 7. This video is brought to you by Lucro PC, your one-stop destination for the best computer parts in Malaysia. Check them out in the link in the description below. Now before we begin, let's get one thing out of the way which is if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing because I will make more and more videos. I'm a full-time YouTuber and about the Ryzen 7 1700, this is the Ryzen 7 1700X. My friend is using the Ryzen 1700 and it is performing well with streaming. Now this is the 1700X which in theory would perform slightly better because it has a higher clock speed than the 1700 but I'm not able to confirm that with you unfortunately. It's confusing to say i7 and r7. r7 and i7, r7, i7. So I've been doing a lot of tests with the Ryzen 1700X and I have to say it performed really really well because the best quality of streaming is using the X264 and it's it's not gonna there's not any artifacts the best quality to stream your games is actually using whatever settings whatever program that you're using but the encoder settings is it has to be the x264 x264 is needed because you want that high quality streaming without any artifacts without any that uh the color going haywire and the blocks that you see from low quality streaming and i still have to say the most optimal setup to stream is actually using two PCs, one dedicated for gaming and the other one used for rendering and streaming games back to your channel or whatever your uh, platform that you're using, whether it's YouTube gaming or Twitch or Voov or whatever. There's a lot of streaming sites now. A lot of people are starting to stream and a lot of people are wondering how to stream. And I'm going to show you the most optimal settings for you guys who have bought the Ryzen 1700. This That is the most optimal setup the most uh, affordable setup because you only have one PC you don't need to buy another PC and it's not going to affect your game so much and you can get the high quality streaming with X264 using the Ryzen 7 series. I don't know how to stress how good this processor is during streaming and uh, gaming even though there's a lot of people like saying that it's not so much for gaming but with a higher clock speed and a higher speed RAM you're going to get at the level of i7 7700K in terms of gaming. It is simple as that. It has more core counts and I'm not gonna, and I'm sure you Intel fanboys out there are going to be like, oh Han, there's a lot of options from Intel as well. You can use the Intel QuickSync, you can use the 7700K, you can use the i7 6950X. Yeah buddy, but first the 6950X costs double the price of this, which in US dollars, it's about 1700, uh, US dollars 1700 plus uh, US dollars and the i7 7700K is about the same price range as this one here in Malaysia. The 7700K is about 1500 ringgit if I'm not mistaken or 1600 ringgit and the Ryzen 7 is the Ryzen 7 1700 is about the same price but with more core counts and threads which is beneficial if you're doing some work like editing or rendering. The core count and the threads is not going to be as beneficial as in games because you're not going to use all that. The, at most, most of the games are using four cores but with high clock speed and it will benefit much much more from that. But that's not to say it's terrible. It's totally not. And on top of that, you can stream really really well as you can see in this video right now. Use the double barrel shotgun to what? Am I stuck? Are you fuck? I. What do I? And it's much better than H1Z1, my ass. No. I'm going to get to the other one. I'm going to get to the other one. Oh shit, bro. Banda. Ah, Banda. Town, town. Oh boy. 
dah rupanya Zen mode tengah loot rupanya Aku tak ada barang ni Ada seorang lagi kan as you can see in that video of my stream right there, there was no stuttering, there was no choppy moments or whatever. It was all smooth, fluid, high quality streaming. Oh my god, that's why I love so much this processor so much. And I'm not being paid by AMD to do this. Not at all. If I'm being paid, it's going to be a lot of other stuff. But really, I mean, this processor is... Really, really amazing for me. Um, the price range is good. The core count, the value that I get from the amount of cores and the price, oh, you would even do better with the Ryzen 1700 because it is cheaper than the 1700X. It's best that you just get a Ryzen 1700 and eight gigs of RAM and whatever graphic card that can support whatever games that you want to play and a decent motherboard and a decent power supply and you're good to go. You don't actually have to go super crazy with your other components as long as your graphic card supports the game and at least at 60 FPS because you don't want your game FPS to drop below your streaming FPS so that's gonna be horrible. I would say 1050 Ti or 1060 would do at 1080p gaming. All in all, if you want uh, the most best quality streaming, you still have to go with dual PC but if you're on a budget, you could go with the Ryzen 7 and still do a really good job at streaming and gaming at the same time without affecting game performance, without affecting your streaming performance performance without affecting picking up weapons inside a multiplayer online game that's going to slow you down and you can't even open the doors because that is what I experienced using the Intel i5-6600 using Intel QuickSync for streaming as you can see right here <laughs> I'm drawing them out. Alamak, orang dia dekat dalam kemah. Dia masuk balik, dia masuk balik, dia masuk balik, dia masuk balik. Dia orang dalam kemah eh? Yes, yes, kemah. Haa, dia dah masuk tu. Weh, weh ada orang kat dua orang. Ada dua orang, ada dua orang. Tapi dia datang depan. Yeah, that's only 720p at 60fps. It was choppy, the stream quality was not so good. It was acceptable because, you know, I'm not a full-time streamer. But I would, I'm the type that it, if it looks so ugly, I mean, I kind of give up really quick. So this Ryzen 7 really, really, really won my heart uh, in terms of streaming and even productivity because it actually basically almost doubled my rendering time. Despite the first few days uh, of using the Ryzen 7 with uh, bugs, I tried to find Adobe patches for Adobe Premiere Pro. There were patches that need to be done. There were fixes that need to be done. I hope that Adobe, you know, really comes out with an official patch and really help out with the Ryzen 1700 dilemma with a uh, warp stabilizer and whatnot. But I'm not gonna get into that into detail. So yeah, I know there was a really more talk, less experiment kind of video. But as you can see from the stream, that is already proof that your stream is going to be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, do leave a comment. What do you think? Are you still on Intel with streaming or do you really want a dual PC setup or are you okay with a one PC setup using the Ryzen 1700? I would like to know and like or dislike, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Era of the Geeks, baby. I love this so much.
And uh, no, 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 I'm not being paid by AMD or uh, it's, this is still a loan uh, processor. It's not a gift. It's not mine. But like I said, it's, it's so good. It's so good. See you guys. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So gonna get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pop, pop a phone. Turn around and drop it for a plan.